the housing market isn't crashing. My oldest son just turned 13 and it had me thinking about what the market was like 13 years ago. The year was 2010. We were in the middle of the absolute worst housing market in history almost uh, with the mortgage crisis. I remember holding my newborn baby and talking to a bank about a foreclosure and they really had no clue what they were doing. 13 years later, we are not seeing any foreclosures. In fact, what we have is the most insane interest rate hike in the shortest amount of time ever in the history of the United States. That has sent everybody on a little bit of a tailspin. We also have the lowest amount of inventory or homes for sale in history as well. These two things have combined to give us the lowest number of sales that we've seen since 2009. So we don't have a market crash, but what we do have is a super, super dynamic market. And it's really interesting and I love it. It's very challenging and it's keeping us all on our toes every single day. Pricing properties has never been more challenging. Crested Butte has always been a speculative pricing market, meaning sellers give us a price and they say, well, if I can get that price, then I'll sell it. So properties will sit on the market for a long time. And in 2021 and 2020, that actually worked really well and they got their prices. But unfortunately, that is not the case anymore. And if you're gonna price your home speculatively, you're gonna sit on the market for a very long time. So we are trying to find that exact price point preferably just under market value, so you can sell your home quickly. Everybody thinks that home values are gonna drop like crazy, but what we're seeing actually is home values are holding strong, but listing prices are starting to come down. In fact, I was a part of three different bidding wars this week on properties. So what you're not gonna see this year is a dramatic drop in home prices. What you are going to see is listing prices that excite buyers, and those properties are gonna go under contract right away. If it's not priced right, it will sit for a little bit longer. I have literally never seen a market that is so fickle, but also so competitive. So let's talk about sales so far this year in 2023. From Almont to Mount Crested Butte, we've only seen 65 closings for a total of 63 million in sales volume. And in 2022, for the same time period, we had 156 sales for 160 million in sales volume. So we are down significantly in the number of sales, mostly due to interest rates and the lack of inventory. What I have found interesting is that Gunnison is having a very similar market to what they had last year in 2022. So far this year, there have been 75 closings for 42 million in sales volume. And in 2022, there were 79 closings for $45 million in sales volume. I think the explanation to this is that Gunnison home values are pretty well below where Crested Butte home values are. So the affordability factor is a lot higher in Gunnison than it is in Crested Butte. Most properties in Crested Butte are going to be priced higher, but also have other things to take into consideration like HOA fees and things of that nature. So what does all this mean? The housing market isn't crashing. Clearly in Crested Butte, we are down in the number of sales, but it is just the beginning of our normal selling season. So I believe we will see a big uptick in the number of sales in the coming months. So if you have any questions about the market or you wanna talk further about how it's not gonna crash, give me a call today. <laughs>